Harry has no change in his pocket to give to any charity, Markle takes it all in one hand and the other hand is never away from her hair. All Harry can do is pledge to give which means nothing. There is information that the IRS will look into as well. There is something very wrong there too. Lastly, why would Invictus which is a charity, allow millions to go to frivolous expenses for Meghan Markle? Surely a whole new wardrobe was not needed and the cost could have fed a small village. The guy from Spotify said it best, effing grifters. Prince Harry competed in the annual Santa Bale Polo Cup last week, the flagship fundraiser for the charitable foundation Harry co-founded in 2006 to support children and young people in southern Africa affected by poverty, inequality, HIV-AIDS, and, recently, COVID-19. The equestrian event has has raised over $14 million for the organization to date, since it was first held in Barbados in 2010. Conflicting reports in April suggested that the Sussexes team reported Prince Harry personally injected $1.5 million into his own charity, Centre Bell, which was set up by the Duke of Sussex and Prince Ciso of Lesotho in 2006. It grew by more than 50% last year after raising $5.5 million. However, there are no receipts to confirm Harry's donation. Recently, it was reported that it appears very little money is actually raised for Center Bell via the Polo Cup. It's basically like vacationing all over the world for free. It makes me doubt the legitimacy of most high-profile charity events. Center Bell's Polo Cup had raised £11 million since 2010, which is less than a million pounds a year. Also unclear is if that's before or after expenses. If it's before expenses, first-class flight accommodations, hotels, security, etc., even for just one person like Harry, it must be eating up a significant chunk of the funds. It makes you wonder how this is potentially being used as a free annual global polo tournament expensed for the wealthy. How much actually goes to Center Bell? It reminds you of how, in the first year of our Jules finances, they donated no money to Center Bell. When Center Bell's financial reports for the year will be released, this is why the chairman Johnny Hornby, who had been there for the past 11 years, suddenly quit this year before the fiscal year and without reason. Harry was supposed to donate £1.5 million from his book proceeds, but that's a pledge rather than an actual donation. Obviously, it'll be easy to promise the donation and then move on, hoping that everyone believes it was made. If only he would personally deliver a cool million or some decent housing to the young girl he held in his arms when he visited with his mom all those years ago. A tiny baby girl experienced more horror and evil within the first five minutes of her life than most of us will ever know. Harry vowed then and there to help the girl forever. He never visited again, and she lives in squalor to this day. These grifters don't follow through on any charitable endeavors. Their only focus is on themselves and being famous like celebrities. They've had six years to really make an impact as they profess to have wanted to do. They made an impact. They are so caustic and toxic liars no charity would want to be associated with them. They are grifters with no talent. Part of the Harkles' problem is that they don't devote themselves fully to any charitable projects, especially Megan. The same unaccountability is happening at the Invictus Games. Archul stands to have a big payday while Invictus veterans stand to get a very small percentage.